Yes, again, yes. Two vlogs in one. He's amazing. That kid can't be stopped. He will not be stopped. He's just, he's a troublemaker. He will not be stopped spreading his damn mouth. We must stop him. It's the most important guy on YouTube right now. As you watch this video, this video, no other video, but this video right here. I am the most important guy right now. This is the king of peace, y'all. I am the host king. No. Hey, hey. God damn, I'm, I feel good today. Anyway, I don't know why. You ever just wake up and just like, woo! Let's get it started. Sorry for those who got earplugs in their ears. Anyway, I guess that's the love of a good woman. Hey, it could go box. <laughs> anyway, um, she like she was going. <laughs> if y'all to see her, she looked like she was going. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, here's a vlog that I've been wanting to do for the longest. Why is it when a black man? dates a white woman he's not black anymore or he's not black enough why should why sh anybody that's that's like me saying okay i want to go fuck this one chick but she don't fuck ugly niggas so she's not black enough because she won't fuck me no it's a preference i don't care i don't care if I don't care if Gigglebox is next to me or if she's not. I'm still a black man in America. All the bullshit, I could get pulled over today by a racist ass cop. And if I make one move, I'm gonna get shot. You know what they gonna say on the news? Black man got shot by police today. They're not gonna say uh, almost black man got shot today by uh, a, a cop, but he had a white girlfriend so we shouldn't feel, no. They're gonna blow it all up in portion it, I'm not saying those who died by cops were blowing shit out of proportion, but you know the news kind of blow a lot of that shit out of proportion, you know what I'm saying, just to get ratings. They, they're sabotaging a lot of shit just to get ratings, but we're not talking about that. But if they say, if they're going to say a black man got shot, even if I, all right, let's don't do the cop thing. Let's go to the loan. Let, let's say I want to do a loan. Like I want to. I want to um, go get a loan for a house or something. They're not going to say, oh, well, he's approved because he's he's dating a white woman. No. You know what I'm saying? They're going to go off my credit. I, it's so stupid sometimes the people, the way people think, like, he's, he's, um, he's with a white girl. So he's, he's a sellout. How am I a sellout? You know what I'm saying? And the first thing one of those females would say, or one of those dudes would say, when they get their heart broke or they get taken advantage of, the heart wounds with the heart wounds. Okay, so if I want to date a woman that cooks, cleans, treats me like a king, rub my feet, do some freaky things, we're not gonna mention, do freaky things for me, you know what I'm saying, with me, and she's not at work, she's on the, she's on the side. Y'all seen the videos, you know what I'm saying? Takes me all during work, makes me feel loved, but so happen to be white. There's no difference between uh, her or any of my black girlfriends on a date. They still got the little sassy, she still got the little sassy attitude, like a major attitude. Sometimes I just wanna punch her right in the throat. Uh, just joking, but seriously. She still got the attitude, you know what I'm saying? She has her lazy moments. She she tells me, she tells me no, she's not timid doing whatever the fuck women want you, the black women want you to think. I don't get that though. I don't get why why a black woman would just sit there and hate a guy for the person she chose to date. That he chose to date, or he chose to have sex with, or whatever. He chose to marry. And I used to and I used to, used to uh, look at that and, and, and hold credence to it. Like, it's like I would fall in love with these women, but 
I wouldn't want to be out with them because I was scared what somebody else would say or somebody else would think. And I got to thinking, why would, why the fuck do I care? I don't care. I, I was slow back in the day. I'm sorry. But I was. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, she's still doing. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway. But you got to think of like, why the fuck do I care about what other people, the people that I probably sit to see like twice in my whole life? You know what I'm saying? I don't even care what my family thinks. Because I got to sit down thinking, like, if I didn't like my stepdad, would my mom still marry him? Probably so. If I didn't like my, my brother in law, my sister still married him? Probably so. You know what I'm saying? So, why would, why is they, why does their opinion, and I'm not saying they uh, uh, disapprove of it. I mean, I'm pretty sure they got some opinion on it, but they know I'm not going to listen to it anyway, so they can just keep it to themselves. But I don't know why their opinion of the person I date is affecting me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I know that girl. That was Crystal. I should slow down and be like, what up, though? But I owe her money, so... Nope, I'm just playing, I don't know nobody either. Well, all people, all somebody, somebody, somewhere, I just can't remember who, and I'm pretty sure they're like, well, I might well get that money back, so fuck it. But if whoever I owe money, I promise you, I'm trying to pay everybody back. I'm down to, I at the beginning of the year, I owe 10 people, now I'm down to three, that I know for sure, for sure. But I, I'm slowly paying everybody back. But anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. Um. See, I told you I can't do these vlogs and drive at the same time. I get so unfocused. But, um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, but why would their, why would their opinion on the people I'm having, uh, my relationship with affect me? Man, don't get me wrong. I love my sister. love my moms to death. I do anything for them to, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, just because they see a certain way or they think a certain way or I'm not going to stop loving the person that I'm with because they don't like it. Okay. I mean, I like guys with bald heads. But both of y'all, you know what I'm saying, both, both my stepdad and my brother-in-law got bald heads. You know what I'm saying? I just got to learn, learn to live with it. And now, there again, I'm saying, I'm not saying my sister or my mother have a problem out of my girlfriend. I, my mama loves my girlfriend. My sister loves her too, I think. I don't know. She likes her a lot though. You know what I'm saying? My sister and my mom are kind of like, I don't care who you date as long as they make you happy. I'm just using them as an example. But don't get it twisted. My sister and my mom are very supportive of my relationship. It's not like I'm coming out the closet. Mom, I hate to tell you this. <gasps> But I like white women. <laughs> I still love you, son. I'm just playing. But, uh, <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Like, they support of my. I'm just dating a, a woman that got no uh, melanin in it. And then come to find out, I met her dad the other day, right? Come to find out, she's got 1% black in her. And when she get home, she's gonna have the other 99% of it. Oh, boy. No, I was playing. <laughs> But um, but that's crazy though. You you look at somebody, and her dad was so right when he said something. He said, "We're in America. Nobody's fully their race anymore. All these all these yokels with that white power, black Black Lives Matter shit. You probably got more white and black into you than anything. And that's real. Like you look at me, and you be like, oh, Keno, Keno's one hundred percent black. No." I have a white great grandmama, and that's facts. I have a pure German mixed with England, mixed with Scottish, white, blue eyed, blonde great grandmama. And I'm like, that's no cap. That's not a cap at all. I wish I had a picture I could just pop up and just like, yeah, this is my great grandma. This is my grandpa's mother. My, my, yes, my grandfather was mixed. My, we was we started this mixed shit, and this is the fucking things we get. I'm just playing. R.I.P. Grandpa, love you, boy. Um, oh 
my god. I think I'm gonna do three vlogs today. I'm just gonna drive and show you how bad people driving today. Cause they're getting on my last flipping nerves. Anyway, can't focus. Anyway, um, yeah, I have, like I say, I have a white great grandma. By, t by looks at me, you can't tell. I am the, I am a math equation. Two halves can make a whole. Well, a half, I don't know. See, my dad, he's half Indian because my great grandma on his mother was 100% uh, Native American, explaining the high cheekbones. Uh, and so my mother, father, is mixed with German and Haitian because my um, my mother's dad dad was Haitian and my my dad my dad's dad dad God this is gonna look confusing my dad's dad's dad I don't know what he was but I know my dad's mom was uh 100 well, not 100 she was 75 percent native american uh such siri qual some crap like that i can't pronounce the name but yeah but like i said i'm not 100 percent black or has a how they say african american which i don't understand that term either because uh what's the girl name the girl who played in Mad Max, uh, Sharon Zetterlapa. Well, you know the girl played Mad Max, the, the remake. And she did some stupid ass movie with Steph Rowland. Uh, Long Shot or some shit like that. Anyway, she was born, literally born in Africa. Born in Africa. Her family moved over here and became American citizens. Which make her Americans, make, you know, they turn made all the American citizens. So when she be classified more of an African American than me, just because she's white and I'm black, but she was born in Africa. I haven't even smelled Africa. I don't even know what Africa looks like. Be honest with you, the only time I've been out of this country is when I went to Canada and Mexico. And I know I'm not Spanish or Canadian. I do like bacon though. <coughs> so, wouldn't she be more African American than me? So why is it, because I am dark complected, why do I gotta be considered African American? Because my ancestors, when her ancestors, or her ancestors, my ancestors from 400 years ago, probably, came over here from Africa. But her mother and her father are born in Africa. She was made and born in Africa. They came over here and they came over here to America and became American citizens. Why can't she be considered African American? Because she's white. And what the fuck is this? Kevin Hart thing in there. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. No. But what? And, you know, I put that on Facebook. Like, this is, you know, whatever her fucking name is. She's, why is she born, why is she not considered African, more African American more than me? And you know what some of these stupid, intelligent people said on my comments? They literally said, well, She's from South Africa, and African Americans come from North Africa. Oh, that makes sense. So I'm not an Arkansan because I was born in Central Arkansas. 
I wasn't born in northern Arkansas. You see how that doesn't make any sense? <laughs> I was still born in Arkansas. I was born in Little Rock, Arkansas. Baptist Hospital. 1136, Friday morning, March 25th, 1983. But I'm not considering myself an Arkansan because I was born in Central Arkansas. Now, if I was born in North North Arkansas or South Africa, Arkansas, then I'd be an Arkansan. Doesn't make sense to you either, does it? No, because that doesn't make any fucking sense. Don't matter where the fuck she come from, what region she came from, the fact of the matter is she still came from fucking Africa. And she's an American citizen. So why she's not an African American? That's why I said that term, African American, is the new nigga. It's the new nigger. Since you can say nigga to, and, and everybody be okay because you put the A on it. I'm, I don't get that shit either. Like, it's not disrespecting because you took the ER off of it and put an A. What? what type of bullshit is that? So, I'm going to go home and call my woman a cunt aunt. I ain't calling her a cunt. I'm going to call her a cunt aunt because I put the A on it. She shouldn't be mad. Or I should go text my mom, what up, bitch? I mean, call her a bitch. She can't get mad because I put the A on her. People logic are so fucked up nowadays. Me, personally, I don't give a shit. If you want to say the word, say it. Get it out your system. I know what I am. I know I'm not a, uh, I know I'm not a, uh, a, a, a idiot or a, a disavowed person or whatever the fuck the term nigger is supposed to really be mean. But Jesus Christ, man, the stuff people get away with, I'm gonna put an A on it. So I can call a gay person a faggot. I didn't call her a faggot. I call him a faggot. You shouldn't get mad because I put the A at the end. Who gives a fuck with how you spell it, you dumb motherfucker? If you spell it, if you said an A or ER, it's still the fucking word. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? And then Mexicans, they are the weirdest people ever. They think they can say it because they're not white. And we can't say, like, I hope you don't pull me over. You know what? I'm not driving crazy or swerving. So if he pulls me over from vlogging while driving, fuck him. Um, anyway. Mexicans are the weirdest people ever because they they think since they're not white, they can get away with that. Uh, nigga this, nigga that. But if you call them a wetback, they or a spick, they get all in their feelings. But so it's okay for you to dis disrespect my race, but I can't disrespect yours? I mean, let's call a buck a buck. Nigger was directed for black people. So, if I call you, if you say, what up, my nigga, if I, I say, what up, my wetback, and you get offended, isn't that kind of hypocritical? Mm. But anyway, people's logic today is so weird, man. I don't, I don't get it. Oh, yeah, I'm not fully correct at all, so... If y'all thought I was gonna, y'all think I'm finna cuff my tone because of that? <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. I hate this fucking light. This light is fucking forever. Oh, I'm just showing this person tags. I don't give a fuck. I don't get that either. Like, people like, don't show my tags. What can a motherfucker do with your tags? It ain't like it's a social security number or anything. It's just a tag. You know how many motherfuckers drive by you a day and read your tags? Hell. <coughs> Me and Gigglebox, we ride around see, see if we can find expired tags all day long. Every time we ride somewhere, we be pointing them out. Oh, look at that one. That one ain't paid his taxes until 2016. If somebody's going to copy your tags, they're going to copy it anyway. So I don't get the big guy. Oh, don't cut, don't take my tags, my tags. Man, shut the fuck up with your paranoid ass. You probably one of those people thought Gucci Mane was a uh, clone or something. Just because he starts speaking in big words. <laughs> just because he lost some weight. Oh, Gucci Mane a clone. Come on, get the fuck out of here. You know, there's a lot of stuff by itself, but some of that stuff is just funny. I'm at work. Ugh. I'm at work. I'm gonna see. Oh, I'm gonna 
gonna see if I can uh get in here without getting in trouble. I probably will. But you know, I don't care. Look at my eye candy. I need a hug though. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my eye candy, Nicole. She used to love me, but now she don't. Let's go, bro. See, I told you. See, prime example. Look at that ass though. <laughs> told you. Oh. Oh, I just want a day where I don't have to do anything. Uh, cool. What's tomorrow? Thursday. Fuck. Hey, tomorrow's 4th of July. Okay, well, I'm finna get up off here. I'm going to. Oh. Wait a minute, let's see if I can do this real quick. I probably can't. Oh well, I ain't gonna worry about it. Anyway, I'm gone. Cowboys forever. You see that you see that you see it. Um I'm finna get a bop here and I'm finna be goats. Alright, one. Dance the happy dance. <laughs> no. You dance. You shake. I'm not kissing you with that hat on. Mwah. Now, you gonna dance? Shake your tail feather. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>